Police say around 9.30 Tuesday night, three vehicles were involved in an accident on the Pearl River Bridge near the Mississippi-Louisiana state line. During the collision, one of the 18-wheelers involved in the wreck went through a guardrail and plunged into the river. We have one confirmed fatality of the driver of the 18-wheeler that did get submerged in water. His body has been recovered by the Santana Parish Sheriff's Office, their dive team, and taken possession of by the coroner's office here. No other injuries were reported. While still early on in the investigation, Louisiana State Police are actively looking for the driver of a black pickup truck for questioning about their involvement in the wreck. We're still examining evidence here at the scene, evidence of the vehicles, and of course witness statements. But we do suspect that black pickup truck to have caused, initially caused a sequence of events that causes two 18 wheelers to, to collide with each other and one of them to go with the railings. As the search continues for that driver, state police want to remind all other drivers to take precaution on roadways. Especially when driving in the condition seen during and after Tuesday night's wreck. Yeah, we have fog in the area. Of course, it's very dark in this section of the, uh, the roadway here by the state line. Of course, drivers just have to keep all that in mind. You know, so, and we wake up in the mornings it's darker. Of course, now with daylight savings time being over, foggy conditions are are prevalent. Be cautious. Give yourself extra time to get to your destination. Drive safe. Be patient and make good decisions. Department of Transportation crews have made temporary repairs to the portion of the bridge damaged by the 18-wheeler when it crashed through the bridge and into the river. State police say it's unclear at this point if any additional lane closures will be needed while permanent repairs are made or while they remove the truck from the river. Reporting on the Pearl River Bridge in St. Tammany Parish, Kelsey Davis, WDSU News.